Hi, this is Dr. Krishna Mohan, your urologist, and I'm talking on behalf of the patient's doctor channel. And today we are going to discuss about an important topic that is blood in the urine. As soon as I say blood in the urine, there's a bit of panic. So it is natural. And uh, when there's blood in the urine, it means that there is something wrong in the urinary tract and does not always equate to cancer. Even uh, ordinary conditions like uh, urinary stones and uh, yeah, urinary tract infection can cause blood in the urine. So don't panic, kindly immediately consult a doctor or a urologist and they will guide you regarding what to do. So today in this video, we are going to discuss in detail about how to approach a urine, uh, uh, about how to how do you seek help for uh, when you see blood in your urine. So initially when you go to a doctor or a urologist, they would suggest you a few tests. Initially it would be a urine routine. The urine routine uh, would tell us whether there is actually blood in the urine. Sometimes some uh, foods, some tablets that you take, drugs you take, can cause uh, increased color in the urine that you might mistake it for blood. So once the, uh, the blood is confirmed in the urine to a urine protein test, we go ahead with the contrast enhanced CT scan of the abdomen, which is the most important test. It would, uh, CT scan would image the entire kidney from the urinary tract from the kidney to the urethra. So uh, once we take a CT scan, we would look into it, we would look for any signs of urinary tract infection, whether there is any stone or whether there is any growth or a cancer which is causing blood in your urine. So once the CT scan is done, we get a pretty much a good idea about what is wrong with you and the further test would be a urine cytology to if there is a suggestive of a growth, you would do a urine cytology which would uh, diagnose any cells, cancer cells in the urine and if it is positive, it says that, uh, that it, there is a high grade cancer in your urinary tract. And the other test which we, we do is uh, we would like to directly visualize the growth in the urinary bladder or in your ureter kidney. So we would do a scopy, endoscopy, either it can be a cystoscopy, urethroscopy, flexible urethroscopy. And then uh, at times we do take biopsies if we are in doubt. And the thing is, uh, I would like to stay, say to the patients is kindly don't panic and kindly don't hesitate to see a doctor or a urologist when you get the first symptom of blood in the urine. Why do I say that? I say that because when you panic and delay the visit to your doctor or urologist, what happens is uh, the stage of the disease can increase by say a few months. So a patient who gets blood in the urine and he comes after three months, the cancer could have spread from the bladder into the surrounding structures or into the bladder wall or into the lymph nodes or to other areas. So the earlier the diagnosis, faster would be the treatment and lesser would be the complications. So I would ask all the patients to when they see blood in the urine to kindly seek a urologist and get the appropriate treatment. So today we would uh, we will also discuss the individual causes which are causing blood in the urine. Uh, the initial would be a urinary tract infection. Depending upon the severity, we can give oral antibiotics or for severe infections we can give a, and for prostatitis we can give a uh, IV antibiotics as well and uh, for uh, the next cause would be a urinary tract stone we can for uh, bladder stones we can break it through cystoscopy 
and then break the stone. For ureteric stones, we can do ureteroscopy. For kidney stones, we can do directly put a puncture and do a uh, PCNL procedure, or we can do a, a flexible ureteroscopy and do endoscopy and then break the stones using laser. So, uh, and the next would be in elderly patients, when patients are more than 60 years, uh, the likelihood of cancer when there is blood in the urine is high. So they have to be properly evaluated and to rule out any cancers in the body. And uh, sometimes in elderly males, even uh, a prostate can cause blood in the urine. So, and in younger individuals, uh, less than 40 years, usually the causes would be a urinary tract infection or a stone. So, uh, usually we don't uh, diagnose cancers in less than 40 or less than 30 years of age. And um, uh, so, the most common cause of uh, blood in the urine due to cancer would be a bladder cancer and if it is in the initial stage we can just do an endoscopy and resection without any major surgery so that is why i insist patients to go early get diagnosed early and get treated early so that you don't have any complications or you don't have any uh, spread of the disease outside the urinary tract and for kidney cancers also can cause blood and for them uh, uh, depending upon the cell. earlier the stage we can do a conservative uh, just removing the tumor but if it is advanced stage we might have to uh, remove the kidney in some instances so uh, this is a broad overview about what to do uh, what we would do and what is the causes of blood in the urine and uh, and what to do and uh, the thing the main thing i would insist again is kindly seek a doctor or a urologist when you have blood in the urine so hope this uh, uh, video would uh, would help patients to uh, get help and uh, also avoid panic as well so kindly share this uh, with your friends and subscribe to my channel so that uh, more patients can benefit from the videos which we put up on our channel. Thank you. Bye.